Hey guys, we're here in the Lower Ninth Ward. It is March of 2022, and we are uh, on the repaired levee and flood wall um, that uh, was the source of the failure and therefore the flooding of this neighborhood in 2005 as Hurricane Katrina moved through the area. The flooding, uh, the, the, there was a lot of issues with the um, flood protection system in this area, but the, the particular proximate cause driver of the flooding was a barge that was not secured or, or became unsecured in the, um, uh, in, in the canal right here. It breaks loose in the early morning and flops around for a bit and then bang comes and slams into the um, shorter then but nevertheless the flood wall that existed then and it broke through in a catastrophic failure we eventually would have two breaks in the levee uh, here uh, um, in this section of new orleans and this massive cascade of water comes in and essentially clears out the entirety of this neighborhood for several blocks inland um, uh, this is the highest uh, concentration of mortality, uh, the highest death rate here, and the highest uh, rate of property loss here. Um, we've had um, some rebuilding. Obviously, the Make It Right Foundation has come in, and we have um, a lot of houses and a lot of um, uh, uh, families that have gotten back in, into their homes. This was the neighborhood that um, had the highest percentage of African American home ownership. Um, before Katrina, a lot of generational wealth were wrapped up in their homes and um, because of the loss of deed records, both inside their homes that were flooded and destroyed and the loss of paper records in City Hall, it made it very difficult to rebuild. A lot of these folks were also close to the edge financially, didn't have a lot of resources to rebuild. And so for a whole bunch of, of systemic reasons, um, this was this neighborhood has not recovered um, to the extent as that other neighborhoods have recovered post Katrina. Um, Make It Right Foundation was an effort to try to jumpstart that and do it in a way that was sustainable and 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 more equitable. Um, and uh, and while they have gotten several folks into their homes that, that wouldn't have likely otherwise been able to get into a home, um, there's been issues that are now coming to the fore with quality of design. There's been some mold issues, etc. And uh, so yet another challenge for this community that has suffered so much for so long, um, long before Katrina happened, but then Katrina just exacerbated their challenges. So this is the Lower Ninth Ward here in uh, uh, 2002, or excuse me, 2022.